Okay, so we've mastered Young's slits, the two slit problem. But what happens when you shine a laser through a single slit, which is not very wide? Well, you can't see it here. We're going to turn the lights off and see if you can see it a little better. It looks very similar, as you can see. And in fact, we'll try to show you a zoom in of this right now. So hopefully what you could see there was that the central maximum, this central spot, was twice as wide as it was before. This was the central maximum. The next one was not like that, like this, like this. And there was some other little sort of jump happening around the sides. But this is what we're actually interested in. So if I look at it this time, the slits, are equidistant again, but not all of them. These ones are all the same distance apart. And so are the ones on the other side of the central maximum. But the central maximum was twice as wide. So between the center, there was this distance twice. If I were to graph the intensity of it like I did before, I would see that in the center, it was most intense, it dropped down, like this, like this, like this. So when we had two slits, we said that each dark fringe was a distance delta x apart. Well, we've used delta x, so we need a new letter, delta y. Okay, wonderful. So this is delta y. Formula is essentially exactly the same, except instead of delta x, it's delta y. We don't have d between two slits, we have the width of a single slit, so it's delta, whoops, delta y, complicated stuff, times w over i. Instead of d, we have w, and it's exactly the same. But what you've got to make sure you understand here is that the central maximum is a distance 2 delta y's wide. All the other ones are just delta y, just like with two slits. Now, let's say you knew that the distance from here over to here was 20 centimeters. That's one, two, three, four, five dark fringes, but it's one, two, three, four, five delta y's, because we have to count two in the central region. So if that distance is 20 centimeters, then delta y is 20 centimeters divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 4 centimeters. No problem. 